And what we're talking about today is the Antichrist being crowned in a secret ceremony until the global reveal. The global reveal will not happen until after World War III. And now we have this ceremony where he was physically present. This wasn't a, oh, let's use a mannequin. Let's use a, you know, an old stand-up. Let's use a mummy of Pharaoh. No, this was the literal AC present at Sharm el-Sheikh and was going through the secret ceremony and, <laughs> and the mockery of God as an offshoot of that is what Doug Hagman just read to you. Now, this is really important. This is God speaking, and he's talking about his two witnesses. The Bible literally puts the context of the appearance of the two witnesses into the time frame of the uh, Antichrist being revealed. In other words, when they reveal this is the this is God, you know, hmm. Your God has to hang in the shadows. They will have signs and wonders, lying signs and wonders. They'll have the most, how should I say this, supernaturally hidden knowledge orchestrated light and sound show that's ever been seen. Jesus said that it, the deception is going to be so great that if he didn't shorten the days, we like say, actually God the Father, there'd be no flesh left alive. So I want to get into this right now. The two witnesses. I don't know, Doug, you have a great memory for time, but was it six months ago or a year ago when I said the first time, I have a feeling the two witnesses on earth. Do you remember about the time frame? You know, I, you, you said that more than one time, and, and I believe 12 months, 11 months was the first, and, and I think you reiterated that again, probably in uh, sometime during this. Okay, I have a dream I want to share with you guys, and um, in this dream, I want to tell you guys um, about this dream because I, I feel like it's an end-time prophetic dream, one of those dreams that we get, the end-time dreams. We, so, it's like I was going to fall if I, if I went towards the gate, but as I, as I look out the gate, I notice this giant city, this big city, and in the city, it says Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv. And I'm looking like, okay, Tel Aviv. It was a big city, right? Tall buildings and everything. And you could see, like, you, you can just see all the buildings and everything. And I'm just watching. I'm looking and I'm like, where did this come from? And, you know, the city was called Tel Aviv. And I knew I was in a Jerusalem city called Tel Aviv. So I noticed the buildings were super high, super tall, right? Be patient with me, guys. The buildings were super tall. And these giant statues started appearing. Two big, giant statues. It was like they, they, they just appeared like big, like huge, about the size of the building. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Did they just put these buildings there? I'm done the recording. I was like, did they just put these buildings there? And when I look at the, um, not the buildings, but they, they just, they just put these giant statues there. And when I look at the statues, right? <laughs> Sorry about that. When I look at the statues, I noticed there was two giant, tall, bronze, golden looking men. Both of them were bald headed and they both looked the same. And I, and then the statues started moving. Like the statues just started moving. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, I, this is what I said in the dream. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh. Um, is this like um, the Antichrist statue that is moving and is speaking and it's about to talk too? And, I was like, and then she was like, no, watch, watch. And all of a sudden it transformed into a whole human body and there was two of them. And she was like, no, you're wrong. That's not the Antichrist statue. These are the two witnesses. I was like, the two witnesses? Yes, they are about to prophesy. And I was like, ah. And he was like, brace yourself, get ready. They're about to prophesy. And as soon as she said they were about to prophesy, 
I looked and they 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 they, they were formed as like humans now and but they were huge they were really really big and there were two of them and they look like old school Egyptian looking type of people. I don't know. But yeah, that's what they were looking like. And they were just super big, super tall. And they were getting ready to prophesy. And then I woke up from that dream. Immediately I woke up from that dream and I was like, oh no, we're about to be in Revelation 11, the book of Revelation 11. Read that book. It talks about the two witness and the miraculous things they are, the power that they are given. No one can come against them except for the Antichrist. And when he came against them, he was able to kill them. And they, they, they were not given any, you know, they were not given any burial and people were walking among them and celebrating because they, you know, they torment them, you know, they could send fire, rain, whatever. They can stop rain, fire and whatever. You know, the people were being oppressed by them because they were trying to preach the word of God, the gospel of God to all of them. You know, they needed to hear these words before the big judgment comes. And then Antichrist comes, he kills them. Three days later, they rose and a big earthquake happened. 7,000 uh, people were killed and many were, you know, received Christ afterwards. You know, they received God afterwards. But yeah, that's about, you know, read Revelation 11. That's what it was um, about. And this occurred on the 8th of November, 2022, uh, while I was asleep, of course. <laughs> this is the only way you receive a prophetic dream. So here's the setting. So in this dream, I was at my house and it's during the daytime, like there was sunlight that was coming in into the house. This is how I knew it was the daytime and the house was full of light and the TV was on. And so while I was in my house, I directed my attention towards the TV, which was to the left of me. And the moment that I did, like my entire field of vision was filled with this, with the TV. And so what I noticed about the TV is that I was watching what seemed to be a live broadcast, a live broadcast of Brother Dan from God's Healer 7. So in a dream, when I saw Brother Dan, it was a close up facial shot, right? It was like pretty much towards his chest level up, but you can see the background and what was behind it. So looking at Brother Dan, he was wearing his glasses and he had a smile on his face and over his head, he wore a prayer shawl. And so the color, the, the description of the prayer shawl is that it was predominantly black all over and then it had like streaks of white, white stripes all over the prayer shawl. And so we look to the back of Brother Dan, what I noticed about the broadcast is that the broadcast was taking place in Jerusalem on the Temple Mount, where there is the Wailing Wall like we have seen all over the internet. So in the scene, it was nighttime and there's very, very few clouds in the sky and it was a full moon. This is, this is what I saw on the Temple Mount. And then there was this breeze this gentle breeze that was passing through and the prayer shawl on Brother Dan was swaying with the wind. And so then what I noticed happened next is that after a little bit, Brother Dan makes a proclamation. Like over the TV, he makes this proclamation and essentially what he was saying in his proclamation is that the two witnesses are here. Mm -hmm. 